Officials say African American patients are greatly underrepresented in the National Marrow Donor Program database and the need for diverse donors is growing. And our Molly McBride tells us the story of one family with two siblings who have sickle cell disease, neither of whom have found their match. Not only was yesterday Juneteenth, but it was also World Sickle Cell Day. Tony Yates, a mother of two children with sickle cell disease, says of the millions of donors in the database, neither her son, Dontrell, nor daughter, Ashanti, have a match. She used yesterday to share their story and spread awareness about the dire need for donors. I have sickle cell, but sickle cell doesn't have me. 11 year old Ashanti says that's what she and her mom say when she's feeling discouraged. We spoke with the family last in April. In the last two months, Yates says the pair of siblings have continued to fight the disease while she's worked to spread awareness about the critical need for diverse donors. We really need to come and diversify this. The more we diversify, the more lives we save. One of the doctors on the siblings care team is Dr. Jennifer Jerosic, a professor of pediatrics at MUSC. She says sickle cell disease is most common in African-American patients and most matches come from within the same ethnicity as the patient. According to Be The Match, the odds of finding a blood stem cell transplant match is only 29% for African Americans. That's compared to 79% for Caucasians. The more diverse donors we have, the more likely we'll be able to identify really good donors for our patients with sickle cell disease who tend to be African American. To see if you're a match for Ashanti or Dontrell or patients like them in needing a match, you can text Shanti and Trell to 61474. Joining is free. You'll just need to fill out some contact information and then be sent a kit for a cheek swab. Reporting in the studio, I'm Molly McBride, Light 5 News.